Hi everyone, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <clears throat> Each zodiacs are going to have their own readings, one zodiac at a time. So let's start with a Gemini. Gemini, here's your card. And gems, for those of you who's new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and the reason being is because I am doing live sessions, and during the live you can ask me questions. There's a link in the description box just in case that you missed um, joining the live. You can still ask me questions on the link below um, on the description box. You will be routed to my page, type in your questions, and then click submit. And if you want to book a personal reading, there's also a link in the description box. So, gems... I'm seeing here that you are kind of tired with what's happening. It felt like you are pushing your boundaries for you to get this specific um, abundance. It could be romance. It could be literally money. But it felt like the more that you push, the more that you get exhausted and nothing is really happening, right? Um, with the judgment in here, the Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. I am seeing here what you are actually pushing is, or wanted to experience, if I may say, is for you to have this equal give and take coming from your person. It felt like that you are trying to study um let's say study or learn you know their moves trying to observe what they're doing um for you to get this equal give and take it felt like if you um you have tried everything here um even trying to become a little lenient or a little strict in the connection you have even tried talking to the person kind of like speaking your heart out right um, let's clarify here the judgment, um, the, the Empress is here, and the Eight of Chalice. It felt like, to me, that you're, you also wanted to let your person know that you are also a catch, right? If this connection is, if there will be separations here, it's not your loss, right? I, I think that's also a good power. That's also a good a motivation, um, but that, that's also something that you wanted to emit. With the Wheel of, of Fortune in here, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, um, I think that one of your strategy here is to turn your back in the connection, make them, or you wanted to make them feel that you abandoned them and there's no more chance. But be, the, the reason being is because you wanted to have the Wheel of Fortune. For the most numbers of you can switch off the energies this is how you feel you feel abandoned you feel like there's no um there is no chances you know to revive the connection but the wheel of fortune is here like what i mentioned let's clarify the five of pentacles the knave of chalice and the eight of um wands the communication here is really getting a little slow so there is an energetic separation, right? Energetic separation here is like the connection, less communication to no communication at all with a ton of swords in here. These friend card and the three of chalice, it felt like to me, while the connection is getting less in, you know, the, the, it, it, while this light is getting dim, it felt like to me, there's something in you that wanted to go out, um, kind of wanted to express yourself outside, like having a party. King of Wands and King of Cups is here. I think that's also some fear of your person because it's you who kind of make them feel that you wanted to leave the connection. They're fearing that you might gonna go out and expose yourself to someone out there. Um, this is what I am seeing as of the moment. Gems, the zodiac signs that I am seeing, it could be a placement in your chart, your person's sun sign, or a placement in their chart. Um, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Leo. Um, water placements, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Did I just say Leo? Yes. Water placements, yes. Um, 
yep those are the signs so this is your reading thank you so much let's proceed to libra all right libra give me a couple of sec all right <clears throat> Alrighty, Libra, this is your card, or deck of cards. So, Libra, for those of you who are new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, smash the like button, and comment down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell, and don't also forget to join the live. That's why I want you to click the notification bell. If in case that you missed the live sessions, you can still ask me questions. There's a link in the description box. Click the link. You will be routed to my page. Type in your questions and then click submit. If you want to book a personal reading, there's also a link in the description box. So Libra, from what I'm seeing here, the higher power is here. It felt like to me that you're trying to connect with your higher self, you're trying to talk to the your creator. It, I, I'm not talking about religion in here. I'm talking about something that you believed in, right? That that, that you believe in. Um, that the creator that made you. Um, it could also be you are talking to the universe to help you. Um, seeking for guidance, also looking for answers. Libra with the six of cups in here. The Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Sun. From what I am seeing, you are missing your person. That is true. It felt like you're waiting for your person to offer you something. Um, it could also be an offer of passion or offering themselves, like wanting to have, um, you know, sexual um, intercourse. Um... But the thing here is, I, I think that you're also missing, for a few numbers of you, missing the, those intimate moments that you're doing. Um, for a few numbers of you, you might be expecting a child, right? Waiting for your person to come back. Probably you're also asking questions. You can switch off energies here. You might be in this position or on the other side. It felt like someone in here waiting for the answer, kind of like praying. Please let my person come back. I'm still waiting um, for my person because I'm conceiving. Um, for those numbers of you, it's just more of, let's say, longing for the person. Your heart is actually calling your person now, like um, summoning them, what I'm trying to say. Um, I am also seeing here that there might be some realization that you have something to do with why there's a separation in here whether it is physical or energetic it felt like there's al already an acceptance that you probably also contributed in this right um with the six of swords the high priestess and the moon card um I'm seeing now the groundness you know the groundiness you you knowing um that you also somehow gives some blurry, um, let's say, energy in this connection. The lovers in here and the four of pentacles. Clarifying the four of pentacles is the three of swords and the navel pentacles. It felt like to me that them reaching out is very slow to a point where it's already stagnant. Um, and what hurts you? right i think that you also know that they're trying to deprive you of their energy in here right um for a few numbers of you already realize that you might be connecting with someone that you have a soul bond with it could be soulmate twin flames what have you you know soul family but what i'm seeing here is probably that's also one of your question one is questioning you know for a few numbers of you probably questioning if i am connecting with my karmic soulmate karmic twin flame um but i'm seeing the, the the reason being is because you have pain you are encountering pain this wasn't supposed to have probably that's what you are thinking but to mind you having twin flames or soulmate connection isn't easy right the zodiac signs that i'm seeing here libra is pisces leo uh taurus 
there's a lot of Pisces in here, Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus. So this is your reading. Let's proceed to Aquarius. All right. So Aquarius, give me a couple of sacks. Aquarius, this is your deck. And for those of you who's new to the channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And Aquarius, um, the reason why I want you to click the notification bell is I am doing live sessions. And if in case that you missed the live session, you can also ask me questions offline there's a link in the description box click the link you will be routed to my page type in your questions and then click submit if you want to book a personal reading there's also a link in the description box so aquarius i'm seeing that there are a lot of changes um it could be <coughs> you realizing that Probably you, you felt that you are being taken advantage of. Um, there's also a lot of things that you probably already find the answer. It kind of like make you changed. Um, either for the better or for the worst. One thing's for sure, there are changes. It could be physically or, you, you know, your core. Uh, physically, you might be probably... You did cut your hair, color your hair, did your nails, um, or to the extent of having this classic surgery, right? Or doing some surgeries here. But the Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. You're probably juggling if you are still going to have a victorious beginning with this person. It felt like to me that you're getting less of what you deserve it felt like you are bread uh that, that you feel that you are being breadcrumbs or they give you breadcrumbs um the breadcrumbing energy is here uh because i felt like the energy here is getting a little slow you feel that they are opening this is a feeling right that they are opening themselves to I mean, out there. It could be a, another energy, another person. Um, one thing's for sure, it felt like that you are not the priority. With the Queen of Chalice in here and the Nine of Pentacles, what you want is for you to have the happiness, but you're having some fear. So, the fear is more dominant than the happiness, right? Um, what you want is for you to have an equal give and take. So... With the Ace of Wands in here, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, for the most numbers of you, it felt like this person only gives me importance if, if they wanted to have an intimate moment, if they wanted to have sex, right? That is how you feel. Um, I am also seeing here that you're giving everything. You're very generous with your energy here with the Ten of Pentacles. Um... Nine of Cups and the Two of Swords. Clarifying the Two of Swords is the High Priestess and the Hierophant. Um, it felt like that you need to be grounded. Um, I feel like there's an imbalance in here with the Two of Swords. If you feel that you wanted to really disconnect from this energy, um, by all means do it. But the energy that I am seeing here, if you're going to actually connect with your higher self, your higher self is telling you that the separation isn't the end of this. Because Nine of Cups is here, um, I am seeing an apology is going to be um, presented or offered by your person. Um, the changes here is not gonna be overnight you know um one day at a time but you will see the changes in them heading towards you know to treat you better um the zodiac signs that i'm seeing here are taurus uh leo there's a lot of leos also there's a lot of earth signs taurus Virgo, capricorn taurus Pisces, 
Is there any more cups? Yeah. Water placements, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is your reading. Thank you so much. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.